Hello and welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to be learning about artboards in Adobe Photoshop. So first things first, go ahead and create a new file. So click new file and we're going to maintain this whole settings. Okay. Now, when you come here, you see it says artboards. So the artboard option is not checked right now. So I'm just going to tick it and then I tick it and then click create. <coughs> we then see that up here we have a file and it says artboard one okay artboard one so what are artboards artboards are basically what they are artboards okay they are boards which you can have uh, different works on or will i say different workspaces so they are kind of different workspaces or multiple workspaces in the same photoshop file or in the same photoshop project so for example, if we come here to the move tool and left click and hold, we're going to see this option and we're going to see the artboard tool. So if you click on artboard tool, we will now be able to modify our artboard. Okay. So now we can see these uh, plus icons here. So we have th this one here, we have this one here, we have this one here, we have this one here. So let me just click here. So when I click here, we don't see that we have artboard tool. So we've Kind of created a new artboard using the plus button here so we can create multiple artboards multiple artboards basically so what are the use of artboards where do they come handy right so uh, artboards are used mostly for designs which have a lot of things in common so let's assume i'm designing a web page Okay, or a website, even though that's kind of not very popular or very common these days because people use other softwares like Figma and Adobe XD to create websites. Okay, but people can still create websites with Photoshop. That's website interfaces with Photoshop. Okay, so let's assume you are creating a website interface. You know that a website usually has plenty of pages and usually you're going to be using similar color schemes similar logos, similar font styles, and so on and so forth. So it would be wise to have all your pages in the same Photoshop file using artboards. Okay, so we might have this artboard for the home page. We might have this artboard for the About Us page. Or if you're creating similar designs for different media. Okay, let's assume you're creating a, a design for a company and then they're going to have the same design as a poster, the same design as a banner of different sizes. Okay, the same design to be interacted with in different places, in different media of different sizes. Okay, so that would be a good scenario to use artboards also because a lot of things are in common. Okay, and after you finish your design, you can just export all the artboards. And we're going to look at how to export from Photoshop later on in this course. Okay, so that's basically how to add artboards. So we can just click on the name here and move uh, artboard so i'm holding down shift to move the artboard uh, in this kind of straight line either to the left or to the bottom or to the top okay so in this kind of straight line i'm using the shift without holding shift you can actually move it freely okay so you can move them to give them space okay Okay, I selected the both of them, the both artboards. Okay guys, so when we select our artboards and then come to our layers panel, what do we see? So they kind of appear like groups. Okay, they kind of appear like groups. If you remember groups from the last video, they kind of appear like groups. So we have each artboard looking like a group, okay, serving as a group. So there are things there are layers under each artboard so if we start adding stuff we start adding stuff to our artboard so let's just come here um where is this? let us come here to the ellipse tool and click and then just come and 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 grab the shape okay and create a shape now we can see that this artboard one right now if we open artboard one we're going to see that we have this ellipse shape inside artboard one okay so let's try it again Put in artboard three. Now, when we open artboard three, we're going to see 
that we have our second elite ship in art poetry or under art poetry so like you can see they all serve like groups okay and um let me just come to file and open and come back to our projects folder and still open this file this file we use for layer okay so layers one so just open it and when you open it it's going to open a new document right so what i want you to do is to use your mouse your select tool rather your move tool rather you click and hold and then drag into uh, our project with the artboards and you just come to uh, this place or one of the artboards i'm going to use artboard 4 in this case and then release it so if you release it you then see that it is now in on artboard 4 okay so it kind of uh is placed perfectly inside artboard 4 okay so if you see artboard 4 you're going to see that we have our image in it okay so you can uh, like i said you can duplicate artboards Can duplicate artboards using this okay you can also delete artboards you can delete so i'm just hitting delete on my keyboard to delete the artboards so basically that's all about artboards that you need to know and one other thing we could do with artboards is we could copy stuff from one artboard to another okay so if i have this guy selected and control c to copy you can just and hit Ctrl C to copy. Okay, I can just come on this artboard and Ctrl V to paste. And I'm going to paste it on this artboard and on any other artboard I might want to paste it on. So all I need to do is to select the artboard, Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. Okay, so that's one of the things we could do with artboards. And with this, we've come to the end of our lecture on artboards. See you in the next one. Hey, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. We post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration, motion graphics and video, branding and more. If you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, a live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as $3 a month and the link to our Patreon page is in the description below. And if you want to take your learning to the next level, you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources, class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.